Dusty here with Big Time Outdoors. Today we got the family out grouse hunting up by Cass Lake on the, through the Chippewa National Forest. I've hunted up here uh, since I've been, you know, two, three years old. So what we do is we hunt these trails that are all the uh, old logging trails. And for grouse hunting, we're gonna take off as a family. And as Charlie shows you, there's different trails we're gonna be walking. There's some duck hunters out on uh, probably Leech Lake there. But what we do for grouse hunting is uh, we'll split up once we get down some of these other logging trails and uh, you know hunt for grouse and hopefully we get some good video action. So for all you guys that are wondering about grouse hunting, because we're gonna put together a little grouse hunting video is we use low brass, cheap field and target loads. And if you look at this, 12 gauge, eight shot. The more BBs, the better. It doesn't take much to kill a grouse. As far as a, um, you know, a powerful load, but you gotta get a BB in them somehow. And they're quick and fast and you have to find them and, and they fly, uh, need to be quick on the trigger. So these are the shells we're gonna be using. Uh, we use 12 gauge and Cooper here's got a 20 gauge. And uh, hopefully we can get you some good video action. Coming at you, grouse hunting up in the Chippewa National Forest. All right, so I just got these two grouse this morning, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit and how to grouse hunt a little bit. Okay, so it's grouse uh, just sitting right in the middle of the trail, and so what you want to do, you want to like walk like five, ten yards and stop, because when you stop, it makes the grouse nervous, and then they'll fly up, and you shoot them. It's kind of hard to shoot them in the air, but I was lucky enough this guy stayed on the ground long enough. And yeah, you want to grouse hunt with your ears a lot because you can hear them. You want to listen for any kind of leaves moving or anything, or you also hear them flying up. It's like, like you know when a grouse flies up. Yeah, it sounds like that. Like you know when it flies up, and then yeah, so it's really hard to spot them in the woods, but you, you can do that. And that's how you grouse on a little bit, I guess. Doors, uh, got these two grouse here, and just shot them this morning, and I'm gonna show you a couple of cool things about them. So first of all, you take the tails, and go like this, okay? So you see this black line here? If it goes all the way across, it's a male, and if it's kind of like fuzzy like this one, it's a female. So this one, it's a female, because the black line's broken up. You can see that and then this one over here the male you can see because this black line goes all the way through and it's a little bit different right there but this is some male male grouse so another cool thing i guess is the feet they got weird looking feet little hair things on them yep mm -hmm. It's kind of a grouse, and well, I'll have a grouse hunting video. You go, link will be in the description, and check it out, and you see me shoot these grouse. There you go. So when you're hunting grouse, you're gonna want to stop a lot. I usually stop every uh, five to ten yards, and just look around and look for grouse, listen for grouse. And here's a good example. So right when I stopped, I was looking around and the grouse flew up because when you stop, they get nervous and they think they see them, so they just fly up. And yeah. if you stop every five, 10 yards when you're hunting, you're gonna see <sighs> a lot more grouse and it will really help you. So also when you're grouse hunting, uh, whenever you stop or even if you're walking the trail, you should always be ready for a grouse to fly up because you never know when they're gonna be. Uh, this is an example, so I was just walking through the woods and wasn't really ready and a grouse flew up and I wasn't able to get a shot off at him because by the time I got my gun up and ready, uh, he was already too far away. So always be ready when you're grouse hunting because even if the area doesn't look good, there still might be a grouse. I'm making